Okay, class, so let's take a look at some graphing. And it's a little bit of review. Um, so if we have some key features here, we have our x-intercepts, a.k.a. roots, also known as zeros, negative 1 and 1. And we are given a point. Well, it's pretty simple if we want to sketch this parabola. But let's say we want to get some additional points other than these three points. Uh, let's go ahead and plot these points first. Negative 1, 0, 1, 0, and negative 2, 3. So let's say we want to sketch this parabola. Well, we really need um, some additional information before we make this sketch. So one helpful uh, point might be to find out where the vertex is. So we're going to go ahead and take this given information and we're going to go ahead and start by finding out what the A value is. So that way we know uh, what direction this parabola is opening. So let's go ahead and plug this information into the form. Let's use a uh, factored form since we're given the roots. So plugging in 3 for y. We're solving for a, plugging in negative 2 for x, so x minus root 1, and then again x minus root 2. So we're solving this for a. So let's see, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Negative 1 times negative 3 is 3. So it looks like our A value here is going to be 1. Okay. So that's helpful when writing. Um, the equation in any of our forms because all of our forms use the a value in it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and write the uh, factored form since now we know what the a value is. So we're going to have y equals 1, which we do not have to write, x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay. Let's go ahead and now let's convert this to standard form so that way we can have the y-intercept. Notice we do not know where it crosses the y-axis. So let's get that point next. So let's FOIL this. x times x, x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. 1 times x is positive x. Last terms, we get negative 1. So in standard form, we have x squared those two cancel, minus 1. So now we know our y-intercept, which is our c value here, uh, but we write it as a point. We use the c value in here for our y-coordinate, so 0, negative 1. So now we know our y-intercept. Okay, so now we kind of got a good idea of what, what this is going to look like. We have our vertex, we have our first two um, symmetrical points, uh, we can determine quite a bit of information now. So let's take a look at um, the parent table. That's also going to be very helpful when we are uh, making a sketch and we want to have numerous points. So let's start off here with uh, negative 2, 4, Negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, oops, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 4. So there's your parent table. So from our new vertex, we can now apply this uh, pattern to get additional points. Notice uh, when we go to the right one from our new vertex, we would go up one, and there's our point. So to get the other point on this side, we would go right 2, up 4. Okay. Also, you could get 
that point by looking at, since we know this point over here, and we're drawing our axis of symmetry, which is x equals 0. Um, the points, the partner points across from the axis are equal distance because it's symmetrical. So if we knew that this was two points to the left, then we know there's a point, two points to the right. Let's say we wanted to get another point. Well, if we do another value for x and 3 squared is 9, we could just go from our vertex, 1, 2, 3, and then 9 units up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yikes! That's okay. And since it's 3 units from our axis of symmetry on the right, it's going to be 3 units to the left. So we can make a nice parabola based on the axis of symmetry. That's pretty good for a Friday morning. All right. And since we know our vertex here um, is the same as our y-intercept, we could write our vertex form. So y equals a value is 1, x minus h. Don't forget the square. A lot of people forgetting the square. Minus 1 which basically is y equals x squared minus 1. Notice, even though, and so if we're in vertex form, we would probably want to keep that parentheses on the x. That kind of gives you the clue here that we're in vertex form versus standard form where there's no parentheses in there. Okay. All right, let's take a look at another example. Okay, so here we have a vertex given to us and a point. So let's go ahead and plot them right off the bat. 4, negative 6. Huh, interesting. Very interesting. We know this is the vertex. We know we have a point here. So um, easy way to get started here is we could, since we have the vertex, okay, um, it looks like, it's pretty obvious, since we have a point down here, that this parabola is going to be opening down. Okay, you're not just going to want to sketch a parabola here. You're going to want to get some more points, okay? So we know our axis of symmetry goes through the vertex, okay? And so our partner point, or symmetrical point here, since this is two units from the axis, we would go two units the other direction. Now we have another point. Okay, so let's get a couple more points here. So to get a couple more points, we're going to want to, um, so we have the y-intercept, so maybe standard form would not be a good choice. Uh, but we do not have the x-intercepts. So let's go ahead and find the a-value. And then let's convert it to factored form. All right, so a value. So what? So y. So that's negative six equals a times x minus two squared. Uh, oops. Put in the x value, Roger. I mean, Mr. Kramer. <laughs> Four. And then uh, plus two for k value. Remember, this is x, and this is y. Solving for a, 2 squared is 4, plus 2. Subtract 2 on both sides. Negative 8 equals 4a, divide by 4. All right, so a is equal to negative 2. a is equal to negative 2. All right, so we could uh, write the equation for vertex form now. It's actually going to be y equals a times x minus h squared plus 2. All right. So there's our vertex form. Well, we know a is negative 2. We know where the vertex is. So actually, using what we know about the a, 
we could just go from our vertex over one down two since that's our a value remember that only works for the first point to the right and to the left down two So now we can draw our parabola. We've got plenty of points. We have our axis of symmetry. Uh, we know that our uh, vertex is a maximum because it's the highest point. Whereas in this problem up here, our vertex was a minimum. The maximum value here is going to be 2, so the value is 2, maximum value. Remember, value is a number. Here, the minimum value is a negative 1. Let's see what else could we get here. Let's do uh, domain real quick here. Domain, uh, negative infinity to the left, positive infinity to the right range negative infinity on the bottom because it's lowest to highest to 2 at the top and yeah I think we'll go ahead and write the end behavior and then we'll be done so let's go ahead and end behavior here let's go on the left side Okay, as x approaches negative infinity, going left, y is approaching negative infinity because it's going down. On the right side, as x approaches positive infinity, going to the right is positive, y is going down infinitely to negative infinity. Recall increasing and decreasing, it's increasing from negative infinity to 2. Increasing from negative infinity to 2. And then it's decreasing. So from here, from 2 on the x, it's decreasing from 2 to positive infinity. And we don't include 2 because at the very top, it's neither increasing or decreasing. So we can't include it in either one of those um, ranges. Okay, hope you're having a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.